heart is sinking as I Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. Tom Bourne joining us from Nutrilon. Great to have you back on the show. Thank you. All right, so people are in, I think we're confused. Yeah. We have no idea what to do. We, you know, these temperatures are making us feel like we want to start with the garden, and, and it's not the time right now. It isn't. It's, uh, there's so many things that are going to be happening in the next little while on lawns. There's some things we can do, some things we can't do. First things we can't do is we don't want to get out and rake right now. We don't? Kurt was just saying how we just oh, did no, all no. of that. No, right now the crowns, the top part of the grass are very, very uh, succulent, they're very tender. If if we start raking now and we get some really cold weather, grass plants are going to die and that's not a good thing. We want to wait, we're going to have a cold snap next week. We want to wait a couple more weeks before we get out and actually do that. What we can do, however, is before we start raking any time, we want to get out and get a good pair of gloves because we don't want calluses on our hands because they hurt. So get something that's, uh, that's going to work well for you so when you are raking, you're, you're, you're comfortable. Now we have some other things though that, that we can do later on in the... Uh, in the later on in the season, and that is aeration. And with aeration, like this machine behind you here, we, this is one of the larger ones, this punches holes in the, in the earth. And this allows the food and the water to get down into the, um, uh, the root zone so that the plant can really uptake it and really grow really well. And then within that, once we've done aerations for clients, what we'll do is we'll put down seed. And we're so convinced that the, uh, the seed is the right way to go with that, that we give away free bags of seed to all our clients, just to make sure that they get off to a really good start, aeration, seed, the grass will grow really, really well. Um, this other, we also have this, the smaller aeration aerators, of course, and these ones are for the you know, little small city lawns that uh, uh, it's well, harder to get into. That, that was my question, right? Is that, you know, we don't have much space for a lot of us living in the, yeah. in the suburbs when you can literally go from house to house and touch, touch right. the homes. So are, is there a, a way to do it on your own with a, something smaller than this or really if you're going to do it, have the professionals come in and do it? You know, great great question. See, the, the tines on these go down four or five inches and by going down that deep, you're going to make sure that you're getting that, the, the right amount of soil out, out and you, the right, right, right amount of food back in as well. Uh, if you use some of the conventional small ones, you're not going to get the same penetration, you're not going to get the same results. How often would you be doing that? Well, everything you want to do, you, you want to make sure you're doing it at least once a year, uh, twice a year for if you have a really, uh, really hard, hard lawn. But there's something else I need to show you today as well, and that's, that's cutting the lawn at the right height. And another thing we do is we, with our customers, we make sure that they have a ruler to, to show them what the right height is. We never want them to cut below three inches, and we never want them to, to uh, let it grow above four inches. Why? Because if, if whatever length their lawn is here, that's the length the roots will be down below. So if you have good roots down below, you're going to be drought resistant, in insect resistant, grub resistant as, as well. Okay, there's a catch to this because you're saying this with your type of grass that has actually gone through the proper treatment, right? Yes. So if, with your clients, this is going to work because everything is a lot healthier yes. underneath. Yes. Right? So, yes. I mean, then you've got to change your mindset a little bit after having, having, well, having the treatments. Well, you do. Most people tend to cut their lawns too short because they think, well, if I cut it short, I don't have to do these other things. Incorrect. If you cut your lawn at this height, you'll have such a nice thick lawn, you'll get less weeds, you'll have a better chance with uh, not having grubs, and uh, you have a better lawn. You'll enjoy your lawn a lot more. Your house will be more valuable as well because the uh, first appearance will look great. So we know right now uh, raking is the last thing you want to do, even though yes. a lot of people thought that that was an easy no. thing to do over the last uh, couple of days. When should this start? When would the process of you coming in to actually you know, do the... Yeah, we're, do we're out in the lawns, work? weather permitting. We right. always do it when it's agronomically correct. We're about, out about the second week of April is about the optimum time time to, to get going. Normally, this year we'll see how it goes, but that's that's normally the right time. And you want to get the aeration done sometime before the end of May. And you're saying that one treatment would be good, like one one time through would be a good start? Uh, are, you, are you looking for you, continuous uh, Yeah, you should, you should always have a program. With the fertilizers that we have and, the, and the, the right way to do it is to make sure you have different types of fertilizers throughout the season. Because what your plants need in the springtime is not the same as the late spring or the summer. So what, what you need to do is make sure that you get a, the right application down in the spring another application down in May or June, which is a different type of fertilizer, and then another one in the middle of summer, and then of course the fall, and hopefully the late fall as well. You wanna have, uh, it's, it's no different than us, we have to have a balanced diet, and that's exactly what we do in the lawn. I think I need some help. I'm yeah. going out of the Bar Haven, the drought last yeah. year, you know? Well, and that was terrible. I, we were looking, going, we that need some help. Yeah. Uh, great information, yeah. and of course you can check out uh, a lot more uh, on their website, neutralonottawa.com. Thanks so much, always a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, speaking of uh, taking care of our gardens and our homes, we're going to be checking in with Sarah Fremark, who's live this morning at the Ottawa Home and Garden Show at the CE Center. We're back. After